at night, the street would get closed. So the streets were closed from sunset to sunrise. And it was our job to sit on that on that corner and keep keep people from going in. It was me, Kirk, Warden, the most redneck people on the face of the planet. These are the guys that got caught skinning the possum Scott's or the coyote yeah, or yeah, whatever these, in, the, these, in the barracks. <laughs> these are the redneckest guys you'll ever meet. Basically, Kirk and Warden are running the corner, and I'm just, you know, the fucking sergeant in charge or the corporal in charge. The car rolls up, and you can make a left-hand turn there. So he comes all the way up to the curb, like way too close to the curb. And, you know, they're all in the car. They're all looking forward. Is it booming? Boom. No, no. No music. No music. And so Kirk, he's got a M16A2 at the time. He moves closer to where the door is, and he's got his rifle down. As he's doing that, Warden is creeping around the back of the car, and Warden's got his rifle, and the dude, like, he hits the window. He's lowering his window, like this, looking straight forward. He's looking straight forward, and that... And that, as the window is coming down, Kirk is bringing his rifle up. I can still see this in slow motion as it happened that day. He's bringing his rifle up. to get loud. Taking his safety off, and I'm like, (laughs) He's taking his safety off, and he is like, that muzzle is about to poke that dude right in the ear. The dude in the driver's seat goes, boom, like this, real quick with his hand. And I can hear, I can, I know you probably don't believe this. I can hear the slack in the trigger going, ee coming out of that fucking trigger and then he